let's just tentatively say generate a hundred dollars a day you're paying for Today we're talking about building a simple one-page website that can generate $100 a day. Paul James here, welcome back to the channel. I am so excited you are here. Like the title of the video says, we're gonna talk about building simple one-page websites that generate $100 per day. I'm gonna build it out for you step-by-step. Step. I'm gonna share with you what components need to be on there, exactly how you can get going with it, even if you're a beginner, even if you don't know how to program. It's really awesome, but I do have to say before we get into the video, if you have questions and you want your questions answered, all you have to do is subscribe by hitting that subscribe button and ticking the bell notification icon because if you comment within the first 30 minutes of every video I upload, I will be in there answering questions. So you don't want to miss that. Also, we have a new drop in my clothing line store for entrepreneurs, CE owned in the store right now. There's a link in the description. If you want to stay inspired and make sure that you're constantly reminded that you've got goals, you've got ambitions, do you want to grab this? It's on a special deal right now. All right, let's jump into the video and break this down. All right, guys, Paul James here. Welcome back to another video today. Uh, again, pure gold for you today. You guys are going to absolutely love this stuff. If you've been following along with our other videos, you know we're talking about lead gen. The previous video we talked about uh, setting up ads to actually generate the leads for really cheap, like a dollar, three dollars per lead, that those leads you can then turn around and sell for 10, 15, 50, even hundreds of dollars per lead, depending on the niche of the industry you select. And then the video before that one, we talked about the big, uh, like I guess the big idea of generating leads and how to actually structure the whole business model and how to uh, select a niche and an offer and all that stuff that's gonna work. So I wanna talk to you guys now about the next step, which is once we actually have the, the ad bringing in the visitor, we need to convert that visitor into a lead. And that is what the website does. And the cool part about this, I mean, if you're getting, let's say you're getting $100 per lead, you just need one lead per day to come through this website to make $100 per day off of this. And it's just a little one page website. So I wanna give you a quick overview if you haven't watched the previous videos, you should check them out after this one. But I'll just give you a quick overview of basically the flow so that if you're kind of hopping into this series and you haven't seen the other videos, you can get a brief understanding. So our job is to provide leads or customers to a business owner. We're basically the middleman. So we're the person who's going to connect the customer to the business owner and for making that connection we get paid. Uh, it's a huge market. Business owners are paying a lot of money for this type of service because obviously customers and leads are the lifeblood of every business. So basically what we do is we find an offer that we think people will want to buy and we test that offer. That's what video one was about. And we test that offer by putting it into a Facebook ad or any kind of ad. It could be Craigslist if you don't want to spend money on advertising. It could be SEO. We do SEO for, for, for putting up offers and getting customers. Right, so we take the offer, we put it up for an ad. If we're doing Facebook, we usually let that ad run for $5 a day. So very, very cheap and cost effective. And it takes only three days to figure out if we've got a winning offer. And if not, it's not a big deal. You know, don't give up. Just forget that offer and try a new one or try a new ad. Uh, I normally just say try a new offer. So we talked about how to set all that up. But what happens then after someone clicks the ad? This is what we're talking about today because we didn't actually talk about this component yet they're gonna land on a website, okay? And since you're paying for this, or maybe you're using Craigslist or SEO, we wanna make sure that the person coming from this ad, when they land on your website, that they actually turn into a lead. Because when they turn into a lead, that means that you get paid. You don't get paid until they actually turn into a lead. And you're, you're gonna take that lead then and you're gonna forward it to a business that you think you might wanna work with. I recommend forwarding off to maybe five or six different business owners that you think you wanna work with. So if your ad was ran for like roofing, for example, you know, the lead comes through, they see your ad, they click it, they land on your website. You just build out a generic website, no branding. I'm gonna show you that, you know, no, no specific branding here because you're not a company, you're just the middleman. And when they fill out uh, your, your capture form, you're sending that lead off to like five different contractors and whoever is willing to take the lead first is who you get to work with. And it works really well because you start with zero credibility, right? You don't need to have any existing clients. You could be a beginner. It doesn't matter because you're putting your money where your mouth is by giving them 
leads right away. You skip all of the other steps that most service providers do. Like you skip the waiting of SEO. You skip like, oh, just pay me a thousand dollars and I'll set up ads for you. You skip all of that. And in the long term, you usually end up making more money because you're paid per performance because you generate them leads and then they pay you for them. All right. So we need to talk about this website right here. This is what we're doing today because this is key. You have to get this right because if you get your offer right, you get your ad right, all that is great. But if you don't get your website right, all that traffic is going to be wasted. It's going to go down the toilet because they're not actually going to turn the leads. So let's talk about what makes a successful, uh, basically website. And I like to call them landing pages. Uh, but we'll just call them, we'll just call it website for the sake of this video. It's easier to understand. So I'm going to draw a box. And this box is basically your one page website. So remember, just one page, that's why I usually call them landers because it's just one page. This is what every successful one should have. I normally like to have a city name somewhere on the site. I usually put them up in my like upper right hand corner, followed by the offer or like niche up in the left hand corner. Kind of make it look like a logo. It doesn't have to be stylized or anything. It could just be regular text. But I like to have that up there. Again, we're not advertising a company name because we're not a company. We're just the middleman here. So we're only advertising basically what the niche or offer is. And then on this side, we're just saying what the city is so that people know, oh, hey, this is what I'm looking for. I am from this city. This is for me. These are two critical pieces that people maybe who are beginners who are starting off, they leave this part out and then the ad doesn't resonate with the person anymore. The landing page doesn't resonate with them anymore because they need that reassurance that it is local, that it is available in their area. So from that point, what I usually like to do is I usually like to do a headline over here. And in my headline, it's usually just the offer again. Like what is the offer? Is it like a hundred dollars off of a service? Is it like 50% off? You know, I give that offer detail and then in the right, I usually put my capture form. So this is whatever information I'm trying to capture. It might be like the name. It might be I want to capture the phone number because I want to have the, the business owner that I sell this lead to have the phone number so that they can call them and schedule an appointment. If it is a service based business and we're advertising a service like a men's haircut, for example, we might even have them select, you know, what time of day works best or what day works best tentatively. And then usually, you know, we just give them like a, a submit button, you know, just a button where they can uh, hit submit and, you know, send over their information. So this is basically the most important aspects of it. And you notice all of this stuff is above the fold. Okay. Meaning that when someone loads the website, this is the first thing that they see. And it's important that this stuff is the first thing that they see because this is what actually captures the lead and creates the conversion. So underneath it can just be reinforcing things to this. As long as you get that top part right, that's the most important. Underneath it, sometimes we'll put benefits or features. We'll usually do like a little picture here to reinforce the niche again so that they know, you know, this is, this is related to this niche. So if it was like a haircut, we might put someone of like a, someone with a fresh haircut or something. And then we'll normally just have like bullet points here that will say, you know, benefits or features of the service. And sometimes after we get a client and we have someone we're working with, this isn't necessary, but it can help improve your conversions later on. When we get a client, sometimes what we'll do is we'll ask that client for testimonials and we'll put testimonials at the bottom here. And that can help too, because it adds some social proof, but we, we don't always have to do this. This isn't required. And we usually only do it after we have a client, obviously. Um, so when you're just starting off, you're not going to do that part. So now that you know what a successful website would need to look like in order to let's just tentatively say generate hundred dollars a day, assuming that you're charging, I don't know, maybe you're charging hundred dollars per lead or maybe even $50 per lead. We're talking uh, one to two leads per day coming through this website, which if you watched the last video and I highly recommend you do, I'll, you know, I'll leave a link for it. Uh, the last video you saw that we were looking, I think it was tentatively like four to 25 clicks per day coming through our ad. So if we've got four to 25 people, coming through our ad every day, you know, we only need 
a couple of those to actually fill out this form here on our website and convert. So the tool of choice that I like to use for my websites for this kind of business is ClickFunnels because it's very easy to get going. That's not to say you have to use it. You can use WordPress. You know, you could probably make something very similar on WordPress, even using free themes. I like ClickFunnels though, because I'm not a developer. I'm not a programmer. So if you're new and you're a beginner and you're thinking like, I don't know how to build websites. I don't know how to program. I'm in the same boat with you actually. I don't either. So ClickFunnels is like drag and drop. Like I can literally like say, oh, I don't like this here. Let's move it up here and boom. I can just drag it up there and, and move it around. I just click to type like, you know, it's, it's easy. If you can type out an email, you can use ClickFunnels. So that's why I use it. Um, ClickFunnels does offer a 14 day free trial. So that's something to look forward to. Um, maybe we'll talk about that later, but you can see here that my webpage, if I open it up uh, full blown here, it looks pretty much identical to what I drew out on this on this board here. We've got niche, city, headline, form. So look, niche, I'll, I'll pull this one up, but niche, city right here, right? Headline, form. So pretty straightforward. And then below that, I put like a little image and I put my features right here that I was telling you about. Features or benefits. So skilled uh, estheticians, clears away unwanted hair, swift yet gentle waxing, Brazilian waxing, bikini waxings. It just kind of talks about features and it's got a quick little image that says spa. Um, so again, you could do what you want here, pretty straightforward and it, when you do get a client, if you want, below that even you could put some testimonials. So this is what a page should look like and with ClickFunnels, it's really easy to build out. Now, there is one component that you'll need to figure out which is how you're gonna collect your leads. I mean, you could use like an autoresponder and what that would look like is in ClickFunnels. Um, if you come over to where you wanna put your, your leads, like let's hit the little, oops, let's hit the little plus icon here. They have different elements in here called input right here. So you can like drag these in and create forms, but it gets a little confusing and a little complicated and then you have to integrate a third party autoresponder, um, like any of them out there, like Aweber for example. But the problem with that is, is that then you're collecting them on an email list and it's not really sufficient for lead generation. Like we want to be able to collect these leads. We want to be able to track all the information that's coming in, like their phone number, email address, what time they wanted to have someone come out. And we want to be able to then immediately take those leads and pass them off to like five or six different people in the area that do this service, that perform it. And we want to proposition to them how to actually uh, you know, that we have leads and do they want to, to take on the client. We talked about that in the first video of the series, two proven email templates that I actually use and my students use to land clients using just email. So you should go check that out after this one if you didn't watch that already. So I use this form builder, it's called Requestimate and something that we built out custom for doing lead generation. Um, and this is, a, this is just a test form for this landing page I built out for you here so that you guys can see how it works. But basically, it's easy because you can just drag and drop, like let's say you want a, a text field, you drag and drop it in, you click the little edit icon, and you can call it what you want. Maybe we wanna say city. And we wanna say, what city are you from? Question mark. We can choose whether it's required or not, and we can save it and we can drag it around wherever we want it. Maybe we want it right there, boom. It's that easy to make updates and add things to the form. And what happens then is it collects all of our leads. I've got some sample leads in here. Um, it collects all of our leads here. And now we are able to track them all. We can see who they were sent to. Um, so right here, I sent this one as a test to just me, but we could send this off to as many different people as we want. We have the tracking of exactly who they are, who filled out the form, what day it came in at, uh, you know, what time they wanted to come in at, all that good stuff, which is really, really killer. The other thing that's cool about this as well, so we would just come in here and we'd add in a list of five to six business owners that we wanted to send the lead to. But the other thing that's cool is that we can customize the emails as they come out. So you remember my two email templates. I, I can customize that right in here. Do you have time to do a wax? And then whatever the day of the week is that they selected, they wanted the wax done. So if they came in here and they selected Thursday, it's gonna put Thursday here. And it's gonna send this off to five or six different companies that do waxing. 
and then the subject line is gonna say, hi, I was wondering if you had time to do a wax, and then it'll say Thursday, and then time, because you see it's grabbing these uh, fields down here. I just copy and paste these placeholder fields in the email wherever I want them, and it'll replace those placeholder fields with whatever they selected here on the form. So if they put afternoons, then it'll say, I was wondering if you had time to do a Brazilian wax Thursday, afternoon works best, please let me know, thank you. Boom, you can see that is almost identical to our proven email template that we talked about in video number one. So that's gonna get their attention. They're gonna write back to you and say, yeah, we have time. And then you're gonna send proven email template number two, which if you watch that video was along the lines of, you give them a free lead to try out that, you know, this is a real lead that came in, give it to them, let them try it out, and then explain that if it works out, you know, you'd like to work something out with them to continue giving you all of their leads, you know, give all their leads to them. So it's pretty killer. Um, that's the way we do it. And, and it's really easy because here's all you have to do. Check this out. Let me, um, let me save this form here. All you have to do is copy this embed code right here. We give you a little code to copy. You go into click funnels, you click plus, and you add in, and this can be done on WordPress too. You add in like a custom HTML code. And if you open the code editor, all you have to do is copy and paste in that code. So you come here, grab the code, go into ClickFunnels, paste it, and then it puts your form in there. And it updates your form. If you make any changes to it, updates automatically across all of your sites. So this is really, really, easy to get going, I think, in my opinion. This was something that you know we did to build out in our business to streamline things and to basically sell our leads on autopilot. All right guys, so if you wanna learn more about generating leads and the software that I used in this video, I did put a link in the description of the video. So definitely go ahead and check that out. It's really awesome. I think that you're gonna enjoy it. Smash a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And again, if you're not subscribed, but you have questions, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you subscribe, take the bell notification icon, and then you'll be able to drop your questions in the comment section of the video in the first 30 minutes. I will be there answering questions. Don't forget, we have an awesome deal right now on my clothing line CEO owned this brand new drop. It is fire. You're going to love it. It's going to be a constant reminder for you that you have goals, you have ambitions, and you just want to go and get that money. So you'll constantly be reminded of it. So definitely go check that out. But anyways, guys, I will see you in another video. Until next time, I am Paul James. Peace out. Yeah!